You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, marking his country's National Day and Liberation Day. His Majesty the King wished the Emir of Kuwait continued health and happiness, and the people of Kuwait further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty the King underlined Kuwait's progress, which consolidating its standing in the international community, lauding deep rooted historic and fraternal relations binding the two countries and people. His Majesty the King reiterated Bahrain's keenness on continuous development of the outstanding bilateral relations for the benefit of both nations and people, aspirations and joint interests. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended today the 160-kilometer World Endurance Championship, which was launched in Budib International Endurance Village in the Emirati capital Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates, which was held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of the Presidential Court, and organized by the International Equestrian Federation, with the participation of the royal team led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, leader of the Royal Endurance. His Majesty the King followed the competitions of this international championship in which riders from the Kingdom of Bahrain participated along with 126 male and female riders representing 36 countries from different continents of the world. On this occasion, His Majesty the King expressed his pride in the deep-rooted and distinguished historical relations that bind the two brotherly countries, which are getting stronger and more prosperous at various levels, which reflects its global leadership and good reputation, especially in terms of hosting major international sporting events with the best standards. His Majesty the King congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on winning the first place and crowning him with the title of the World Endurance Championship, which witnessed strong competition and enjoyed the participation of elite of the most prominent riders and the best horses from all over the world expressing His Majesty's pride in achieving this honorable global historical achievement. The kingdom, to the kingdom, which is added to the record of His Highness's achievements in various international sporting events and competitions. His Majesty praised the great effort made by His Highness in preparing for this championship and the level of distinguished sports performance that he showed, which qualified him to win this world championship with all merit, which also confirms the advanced position enjoyed by the Bahraini endurance sport and the continuous development it is witnessing, wishing His Majesty all success in leading the sports march towards more world championships and titles. His Majesty the King affirmed that the sport of endurance is an ancient sport due to his connections with our history, heritage and authentic heritage in the region and that we are always keen to provide support and all the elements for its advancement and development. His Majesty wished all the riders participating continued success and progress in the upcoming participations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Emir of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, marking his country's National Day and Liberation Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister wished Kuwait further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness praised Kuwait's continuous development and noted the strength of the long standing relations between the two countries and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's commitment to further strengthening bilateral relations to achieve common goals. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent similar cables to the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and to the Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed Al Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, leader of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the last training yesterday of the Royal Team for the World Endurance Championship for a distance of 160 kilometers, which is held in the UAE Budib International Endurance Village in Abu Dhabi, with the participation of 126 riders representing 36 countries around the world. His Highness also followed the veterinary examination in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority. Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed that the World Championship is a major milestone in the journey of the Royal Endurance Team, which enjoys constant attention and support from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and continued support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contributed to making the sport of endurance go in the right way and achieved many positive results at the global and European levels in the last period. His Highness Sheikh Nasser indicated 
that the Royal Endurance Team has achieved successes that have proven the status of Bahraini endurance sport in foreign forms. His Highness affirmed that everyone fully trusts the capabilities of the UAE in organizing an ideal world event in light of the competencies that the UAE possesses and its pioneering role in developing endurance sports at various levels, wishing all success to the organizing committee and the UAE Equestrian and Racing Federation. The delegation of the Royal Endurance Team participated in the official opening ceremony that was held at the Emirates Palace with a large participation of riders from around the world and in the presence of a number of personalities. Speaker of the Council of Representatives Ahmed bin Salman Lamsalam sent a cable congratulations to Kuwait's National Assembly Speaker Ahmed Abdelaziz Al Saadoun on Kuwait's National Day and Liberation Day. Lamsalam wished Kuwait further progress and growth, commending strong fraternal relations between the two brotherly countries and people and their steady development in various fields thanks to the care and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah al Salah, sent a cable of congratulations to Kuwait's National Assembly Speaker, Ahmed Abdelaziz al Saadoun, on Kuwait's National Day and Liberation Day. The Shura Council chairman expressed heartfelt congratulations, wishing the Kuwaiti National Assembly Speaker abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to Kuwait under its wise leadership. He praised the deep relations between the Shura Council and the Kuwaiti National Assembly, commending the advanced level of parliamentary cooperation between the two brotherly countries. The Shura Council chairman also congratulated Kuwaiti Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sheikh Thamar Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah wishing Kuwait and its people continuous security and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the state of Kuwait in its celebrations of the 62nd National Day and the 32nd Liberation Day. The Kingdom of Bahrain shares with the state of Kuwait its celebrations in line with its pride in the depth of their steadily growing fraternal relations based on their geographical proximity and their bones of blood and kinship. The brotherly Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations have always been strong thanks to the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to develop the two brotherly countries' strategic partnership at the political economic, social, cultural, and media levels. Bahrain and Kuwait have also set the example in their fraternal relations, unified visions and stances within the Gulf Cooperation Council, as well as in their keenness to strengthen joint Arab action and serve Arab and Islamic issues. The Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations have been growing steadily at all levels, particularly since the establishment of the High Joint Cooperation Committee between their two governments in 2001, resulting in the signing of numerous agreements on cooperation in the diplomatic, consular, tourism, air transport, cultural, education, 
educational and media fields, in addition to many memoranda of understanding and executive programs. The two countries have also continued their cooperation under the umbrella of the GCC through their unwavering keenness to consolidate the GCC gains since its establishment in 1981 as one of the most successful blocs at the regional and global levels thanks to the distinguished deep-rooted ties bringing its brotherly people together and the keenness of the GCC leaders since the bloc's foundation and until the Sultan Qaboos and Sheikh Sabah Summit held in Al-Ula, Saudi Arabia to ensure the unity and cohesion of the council and achieve more coordination and complementarity with special tribute to the state of Kuwait for its efforts aimed at achieving the aspirations of the brotherly GCC people. The 62nd National Day and the 32nd Liberation Day of the State of Kuwait was celebrated at Bahrain International Airport with its employees greeting passengers traveling from Kuwait through the airport with souvenirs and sweets. Celebrations were aimed at further strengthening the close ties and friendship shared between Bahrain and Kuwait. After experiencing the hospitality, passengers conveyed their gratitude to the airport crew for organizing such a celebration and expressed their delight in being part of it. The first edition of Inja's Career Expo opened last night in the presence of Inja's Bahrain Chairperson, Her Highness Sheikh Hissa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Higher Education Council Secretary General Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa Al Khalifa, held at the American University of Bahrain. Inja's Career Expo 2023 is organized by Inja's Bahrain, a member of Inja's Al Arab and Junior Achievement Worldwide, the largest global nonprofit youth organization in cooperation with a large number of governmental and non governmental entities. On the occasion, Sheikh Hissa asserted that the Career Expo is in line with Inja's Bahrain's goals of empowering Bahraini youth and preparing them to have a successful career in the future. She added that the expo will provide an opportunity for over 1,000 primary and intermediate students to be informed about seven professional fields, namely photography, chemical engineering, space science, design and goldsmithing, civil defense, interior design and decoration, and detectives and forensics. Chief Executive Officer of the Labor Fund Temkin, Maha Mufiz, said that Temkin's participation in the Career Expo is within the framework of its efforts aimed at supporting Bahrain youth so they become the best option for employment. Over 25 companies and 13 universities are taking part in the event. The first Deputy Speaker of the Representative Council, Abdel Nabi Salman, stressed that need for Arab solidarity and unity through the promotion of Arab parliamentary efforts, addressing the 34th Conference of the Arab Interparliamentary Union, which is being held in the Iraqi capital Baghdad under the title of Arab Support to Enhance Iraq's Stability and Sovereignty. He stressed the firm position adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain in supporting the efforts of the Republic of Iraq in order to enhance the pace of prosperity, security, stability, and sovereignty. Salman also affirmed the support for Iraq in consolidating the course of law, the state of constitutional institutions, accelerating economic reform and reconstruction, moving forward in combating terrorism and extremism, rejecting intolerance and hatred, and rejecting foreign interference and internal affairs. He explained that the conference is taking place under exceptional circumstances and sensitive developments in many Arab countries, as it is not possible to talk about Arab solidarity without finding a serious stance to contain the difficult conditions in Syria. The first deputy speaker of the Representative's Council affirmed the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its firm belief in emphasizing the rights of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state and consolidating the pillars of comprehensive peace in the region by activating the Arab Peace Initiative and in accordance with the resolutions of international legitimacy. He also stressed the need to deepen the spirit of joint Arab solidarity. The Syrian Minister of Health, Dr. Hassan al Robash, praised the initiative of His Majesty the King and his humanitarian stance towards the Syrian people, appreciating the leadership, government and people of the Kingdom of Bahrain for this humanitarian initiative. This came during a meeting between the Syrian Minister of Health and the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, on the occasion of the visit of the Bahraini delegation to deliver the Bahraini aid shipment to the earthquake victims. Dr. Sayyid explained that based on the royal directives of His Majesty the King and with the support of the wise government, Led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and the National Committee for Supporting Earthquake Victims in Syria and Turkey, led by Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa is working to provide all assistance that would mitigate the impact of the earthquake that struck Syria. During the meeting, they discussed ways to enhance cooperation in the medical and relief field to serve those affected by the earthquake and coordination to deliver it to those who deserve it. Dr. Sayyid affirmed that Bahrain will continue to provide 
provide assistance to the Syrian people and stand by them based on the fraternal and appreciative relations between Bahrain and Syria, stressing that coordination is currently taking place with the United Nations organizations to implement humanitarian projects in Syria, as well as coordination with the Syrian Red Crescent to ensure that aid reaches those affected by the earthquake. During the meeting, both sides agreed on the plan that involved sending a group of Bahraini doctors who will join the ranks of the Syrian doctors to work on treating the injured victims of the earthquake.